He really couldn't come at a worse time because Labor Day weekend is when Philadelphia City Pools close for the season. But there is some good news. Cheyenne is live at City Hall to fill us in. Cheyenne. Yeah, Dawn, I mean, you know, Labor Day weekend usually marks not only the unofficial end of summer, but also the end of pool season. As you said, it's probably coming at a horrible time because next week is supposed to be hot and humid. But if you're here in Philly, you are in luck because some of their pools are actually staying open past the holiday. I say every year that um, it's always, it's always chilly and dreary the last week of the pool and then as soon as the pool closes it's hot. Well that's certainly the case this year as next week is expected to bring hot and humid temperatures in the high 90s. But if you're in Philly there's still some time to get some last minute splashes in as four of the pools will remain open past Labor Day. It's no secret that the weather's changing right and um, you know kind of collateral benefit of keeping the pools open for, for swim lessons is the fact that we will have four pools kind of in each corner of the city able to uh, have open swim for residents who want to cool off. Those pools remaining open until September 7th are ML King Jr., Schuler, Tustin, and Samuels. Parks and Recs also during these extended pool season hours is offering free lifeguard certification courses to prepare for next summer. We have uh, over over 100 spray grounds in our system, and typically spray grounds would close on, on, uh, on Labor Day, but again, made the decision today, like let's keep spray grounds open until next weekend to get right through the heat health uh, situation. Jane Murray spent her Friday enjoying Dilworth Park Splash Pad with her 7 and 10 year old. Their school year at Lower Marion begins next week, but she wishes the pools in the county also followed suit with Philly. And I was just talking to another uh, friend the other day about how they ought to do the same in September. Just, you know, once school starts, can you just stay open on the weekends until October because it's still hot in September, as is the case with this week's forecast. But fortunately, Melissa Atkins and her two girls don't have to worry about how to stay cool, as they have a pool right in their backyard. I know, it's like the reverse, right? The kids are going back to school, now it's going to be hot in school classrooms. So, I mean, you know, we're just going to take advantage of the last few days of summer and enjoying the pool. And mom's also looking forward to something else. They've been out of school, um, you know, since June, and I'm ready for them to be back at school. And she's not the only one who can't wait until next week. I'm so excited. What you excited for? For school. Too cute. Now, I also asked Parks and Rex, are they um, ready for possibly all of those people that could be at those four pools? And you know, a lot of their staff, including their lifeguards, are students, and they should probably be in the classroom next week. They tell me that they have talked to all four of those pools that will remain open, and they say that they are prepared, staffed, and ready to go. So hopefully, you're able to take advantage of that to stay cool. I'm here in City Hall, Cheyenne Karan, Fox 29 News. Thank you, Cheyenne.